And we just wanted to share a little bit about um, what some of the other grades are doing. Uh, there are three projects for each grade level. Um, and so I just want to talk a little bit about the fourth grade there. We have the make a stamp for the third project. It's super engaging mathematically. They do a lot of uh, work around symmetry and reflections. As you can imagine, the uh, concept of making a stamp and seeing uh, things reversed when you go to print, you know, when you press the ink to the paper, um, that can be, it's quite something even me as an adult thinking about now, how will it look when I, when I push it against the paper? Um, and then in fifth grade, as, as Jennifer just talked about, that we have the making a toy on wheels. In sixth grade, they take on a project where they're making a mobile. So there's a ton of work around surface area and volume and things like nets, which is a sixth grade standard. Uh, and then in seventh grade, we'll talk about this a little bit more. Uh, they're going to take on the task of modifying a game uh, that can be played with uh, people with visual impairments. So throughout, there's a there's a theme of designing for others and really trying to develop that sense of empathy. Um, and in, if you're if you're product designers, right, it's about learning about the users. Uh, if you're a regular person, it's just that you want to understand um, what somebody else's experience is of the world. So in all of these, uh, they really get a chance to, to practice all of that, as well as learning about the math and the computational thinking and the spatial reasoning. So we just wanted to share a couple of uh, fun projects, some student work. Uh, this is from, uh, from the seventh grade unit where the kids are designing a board game. Um, this, can anyone here, I'm gonna give away some more math manipulatives. Um, does anyone have an idea of what, what game they might be uh, basing this one off of their prototype? Oh, I, did, I forgot to say, can you put it in chat? Oh, Sophia. Jason was so quick. Sophia is so fast. Oh, and Jason, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to give it to both because I mentioned Sophia. Um, so, yeah, they they modeled the hungry, hungry hippos. Um, they were having a great time doing it, uh, and I asked them like, "Well, what about if you couldn't see?" And they said, um, "It doesn't really matter because you can't really." figure out what's going on in Hungry Hungry Hippos anyway. You just like keep on trying to eat more and more. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. The, uh, oh, so, so the, the idea in the seventh grade, uh, the third project is you're designing a game that can be played or revising a game that can be played by both um, folks with visual impairments and people who are sighted. Uh, and so they really get into that three dimensionality of the materials being used. Here you're, they are, using felt to design their game board so they you know if it's if it was just cardboard right then it would be um, it's pretty flat and it's really hard to feel colors um, so that that generally doesn't work for people who, who can't see very well or if you're you know playing in low light for example so the, the kids really were going after it to be able to feel the the different areas of the board we've got a couple more uh, also in the seventh grade, the, the second project is designing fair dice uh, that can be used both by sighted and non-sighted players. Um, so you can sort of see in on the left there, there's sort of indentations into the die or into the dice there. Uh, on the right side, you can see that they're have, having some bumps up above. Um, and you can see that um, when you go to ask them after you print the, the dice out, you're like, all right, so now you can roll it and see if it's a fair die. Um, and it's really, really interesting to see the kids come to the realization that it may not be a, like, it's really hard. By the way, I don't know who makes the dice for Las Vegas, for example, um, but it's far more complicated than, than I can imagine, like figuring out how to get them exactly, exactly balanced. Or maybe they don't. Maybe that's how Las Vegas makes their money. Um, all right, we'll go to the next one. Um, and you can see here, here's one that's a bit of an extension. Uh, in the middle there, they they worked on producing these uh, puzzles, three-dimensional puzzles called Soma Cubes. They do this for both uh, in fifth grade and in sixth grade. And then after they've designed their Soma Cube, 
then they work on designing a box that can hold the, the puzzle pieces. And um, you can just imagine the amount of work that goes into figuring out the volume, both of the cube, but then figuring out a cube that can fit the cube within that. So there's quite a lot of work that, that goes on with, with volume and different dimensions. <laughs> 